In the deserts of eastern Ethiopia, a few pieces of ancient teeth are rewriting our story. And they're not doing it quietly. Buried under volcanic ash and silt, undisturbed for millions of years. This is Ledai Gararu, a place where time folds into itself. Here, scientists are filling in one of the biggest blank spots in the timeline of human evolution. It's a stretch between three and two million years ago, a mysterious window when our genus Homo first stepped onto the scene and our ancestors, Australopithecus afarensis, famously represented by Lucy, faded into history. And now a research team has found something astonishing. Fossils of both Australopithecus and Homo coexisting in the region before 2.5 million years ago. This wasn't a clean handoff between species, it was a crowded evolutionary landscape. Imagine it, at least four different hominin lineages roaming the same terrain. We had early Homo, Paranthropus, Australopithecus gari, and now a newly identified form of Australopithecus. They didn't find skulls or skeletons, nope, they found teeth. And I know it sounds anticlimactic, but consider this. Our ancestors use their teeth every day to eat, to survive. Teeth tell us what bones can't. See, some fossils, like this premolar LD30223, don't look like Australopithecus. They are smaller, more compressed, and suggest a more modern structure, closer to what we see in Homo. Others from the same region looked more primitive, but they didn't match any known species. These fossils were found in layers dated with incredible precision, between 2.78 and 2.59 million years ago, and this is all thanks to volcanic ash beds acting like geological timestamps. So what does all this mean? Well, in simple terms, our evolutionary tree wasn't simple. It wasn't a ladder. It was a tangled bush. Species diverging, overlapping, experimenting. It also raises deeper questions. If multiple human-like species shared the same space, what made Homo, us, different? Was it tool use, diet, social behavior, or maybe just a bit of potluck? Whatever the answer, the fossils at Ledai Gararu show that Homo wasn't born in isolation. It was part of a messy competitive evolutionary experiment, and somewhere in that dust, perhaps just a few meters away, the next clue is waiting quietly, patiently, for somebody to find it. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you, as always, in the next one.